Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Tip of the Week video. I had an email from Ken Bagsby who emailed me a question on how to digitise audio cassette tapes. Now to do this you need to purchase a USB audio interface and this allows you to take the audio output from your analogue tape device and convert it into a digital signal your Mac can record. Now there are several on the market, this is the one that I tend to use which is, uh, it's actually outdated now, it's a, an Ederol UA1 EX, um, but you can get the UAC202 uh, from Amazon. And basically all you need to do is just connect the analog uh, leads from your tape deck into, well, these particular ports here, and then plug the USB connection into your Mac. But uh, let me rig this up and I'll show you how it looks on the Mac and how you can actually record from the audio tape deck. So basically I've attached a standard phono lead from the audio out on my tape device and I've connected it to the USB interface. And now all I need to do is plug this into the USB port. And now if we go into system preferences and select sound, you can see the output is going to my internal speakers, which is fine, but the input, the sound coming in, is actually coming in from the UA1EX, which is the USB audio interface. Okay, so that's all set up. And now to record the audio, I'm going to go into QuickTime. So we'll use QuickTime 10. Uh, you don't need to worry about this opening dialog box. We'll just say done. But from the file menu, just say new audio recording. Now once we have this, just click on the little down arrow. We can see that the uh, USB interface is selected. You've also got a quality setting as well, so that's fine. We'll just go ahead, hit record, and let's press play on the tape device. So we can see that the audio is now being recorded. Uh, we've got this little waveform or a VU indicator showing that uh, everything is bouncing quite happily. But uh, let's just stop that for now. We won't record the entire side. So I'll stop record. We'll switch off the tape device. And I've now got an audio file, a digitized audio file that I can use. Let me just save this. So if I do Command S, we'll just save it to the desktop. Uh, we'll just call this track, say. Okay, there is the track. We can close down QuickTime Player. If I control or right click and say get info, we'll see that this is actually an AIFF audio file. It's quite large, so we could compress this. If I wanted to compress this directly from the desktop, I could again control or right click, go down to services, and then I can say encode selected audio files. This is built into the Mac. If I select that, we've got the option to encode in high quality to iTunes plus format, Apple lossless, or a spoken podcast, so that will reduce the file size. But what I would suggest that if you do want to edit your files that you use uh, something like Audacity, which is a free app, or an app called Fission. Uh, let me go ahead and open Fission from Rogue Amoeba. Let's go ahead and open the audio file. We'll say open other. We'll open the track. We'll say open. And this is the audio waveform. And I can use some of the controls built into Fission to split this up if I wanted to split the track. There's a really nice way to uh, split many multiple tracks into individual tracks, so you can use that. Once you've actually edited the file, you can say file and then save as an AAC file or as an MP3 file uh, directly to your desktop or to any other uh, part of the Mac. Now it might well be that you'll end up with multiple songs all recorded in a single file, especially if you record one side of a cassette. But to edit your file, I would recommend either Audacity, which is a free app, or Fission from Rogue Amoeba. And both apps will allow you to record a full cassette and split the individual tracks into separate MP3 files. Uh, check out episode 320 for Fission. I'll be looking more at some of the really useful things you can do with QuickTime 10 in future hints and tip shows. But that's it for this week. Uh, don't forget you can receive a full video tutorial each week by becoming a Screencast Online member over at screencastonline.com or check out the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone or Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll speak to you next time.